Hello, I'm Rod Elfernis, Dean of the College of Engineering, and I'm here today with John Bowers, who is the director of the Institute for Energy Efficiency and a professor in the Electrical and Computer Engineering uh, Department here at UCSB, with our guest Jeff Henley, who's chairman of the board of Oracle, a strong supporter of UCSB, um, alumnus of UCSB. Um, and first of all, Jeff, I want to thank you for this outstanding transformative gift investment that you've made in the university. Yeah, it is an investment. I, I consider that more than a gift. Um, yeah, I, as you said, I, I went to sc school here in the 60s and uh, worked in 45 years so far in a career, uh, seven companies. But my last 21 have been at Oracle. I've been in and out of tech, but I've, I, I would say more as just a business person, as a citizen. I mean, it's just been clear to me more and more over the years that um, all, virtually all the progress we've made since the Industrial Revolution uh, has come at, through science and engineering. Um, I think for the world to continue to uh, get better and, and lives to get better, people live longer, higher, higher quality lives, um, we're going to have to have uh, innovation, all that sort of thing, but we're going to have to have top science, scientists and engineers. So. Um, um, I, I think fortunately for the UC system as you, and for UC Santa Barbara specifically, we've always had great science and engineering and I think it's gotten better over the years. So Jeff, t tell us a little bit about your, your days at UC Santa Barbara. Well, it was a long time ago. I, um, I uh, came here 50 years ago. My mom drove me up and, and brought me off and I, I always tell a story that um, I, I actually was going to go to the Air Force Academy. My dad had been in the service in World War II, and uh, um, and so I just thought, gee, I should go to the Air Force Academy. And so I was accepted and had a medical problem, so I couldn't I couldn't go. And the only other place I'd applied was UC Santa Barbara. I'd, and I'll never forget my mom uh, driving me out to um, Ward Memorial Highway and dropping me off. And I'm looking around on a nice sunny Ju uh, September day and saying, I think this is going to work out, <laughs> and, <laughs> and it did. It yes. did. I, I never regretted my four years. I, it was a phenomenal period. So, John, uh, this gift is invaluable to the College of Engineering as well as to the Institute. Can you speak to the difference that it will make for you and your colleagues in the Institute for Energy Efficiency? Well, the problem we have as a society, as you know, is that we waste more energy than we use, and so there's a great opportunity here to to use our precious resources of, of oil and coal and, and other fossil fuels more efficiently. And so we've done this based on what is the best materials department in the country and using materials to solve the fundamental limitations to being more efficient in our society. So this started uh, with a bunch of groups, but Suji Nakamura, the inventor of the blue LED, is a good example of solving a fundamental problem that that gallium nitride does not emit light, it could make p-type LED, p-type material, and, and he solved that problem, and we've gone on to a host of other materials, more efficient solar cells, uh, the work of Professor Alan Heger, uh, more efficient communications. In your experience at, at Oracle, I mean, my sense in coming from industry is that one of the areas that, that our graduates have to become more comfortable with is working in a global community. Oh, oh sure, of course. Um, you know, lots of, there will be lots of competition. There's, uh, we've acquired some foreign companies, uh, but I think it is going to be uh, very competitive. And um, so uh, that's why, I, as speaking of putting my U.S. hat on, we, we have the greatest higher ed uh, engineering science program in the world. I mean, just do. Our higher ed is the, still the crown jewel yes. of the, for the world. And it's because I really do believe this is so important for the future of the world, is to, is to keep uh, attracting, educating, and retaining here in the U.S., by the way, uh, you know, top scientists, top, top engineers. The problem is that uh, people probably don't realize that the you, it's called the University of California, and, uh, but this, I think the current year, it, they're only going to provide a little more than 20% of the operating funds. So that's been diminishing as a percentage, obviously, a lot over the years. I don't think it's going to change. And so I think the challenge for public universities across the country, not just California, is that uh, they're going to have to get better at what private universities have done for years, decades, right? It's, we're not going to solve this problem tomorrow. 
but uh, it, it is something that I think it's kind of a wake-up call for some. And I can certainly tell you in talking with our fa faculty, this gift that you and Judy have given has, has certainly raised the bar, but, but certainly also given a sense of the appreciation um, that you feel for, for what we're doing here. And that, that, that is a big boost uh, to the campus as well. So again, well, thank you very much. You bet. Yeah.